So now let's go with uh, maybe the most interesting part about the set. To taste them we're going to use the simple 100 opacity and just draw two squares, something like this, um, from another color. So we can have something like this. Well, I don't like this uh, brown, so put in yellow. Yeah, maybe like this. Three basic colors put over the canvas, and we're going to start to see how the blender works. Uh, for example, we have the blend brush blur, which is not really very fast, so be careful with the radius of this brush. We can control several things about this uh, blender blur or brush blur. We can control how the tracking noise, so tracking noise set to zero, and we have a linear blending brush. Uh, more tracking means it is slow the brush, so be careful, it's, it's different, different from, from the, the header. Then, then we, we have, have the blur, um, very simple, it's only blurring the colors, not really special thing. We have then the smudge, and a smudge is uh, trying to get some smoke effect. Smudge is uh, very useful to create this this kind of effect. It's blending by creating the smoke effect. We can have also the smear, and the smear is very nice because we can move parts of the surrendered colors. So put some blue onto the into the the yellow square so we apply big pressure and make some brush strokes and we are blending and we are moving the color just over the yellow we can move in the color or going from yellow to blue or make a nice soft blending with low pressure and more carefully but with high pressure and fast stroke we can just uh, delete our blending colors the blending knife which is a pressure sensitivity which is has radius uh, controlled by pressure sensitivity and this is a very creative blender brush we can do a lot of things and it is not also too fast we have to be very careful with the with the radius but it's good for making this kind of artistic effects and create patterns inside the, the color okay so we can easily make this kind of patterns just moving the, the pen tablet we have a variation which is a cool knife heater which has uh, the map the radius by random and it's also uh, controlled by elliptical depth angle as you can see here we have the direction, it is setting to 180 and on the details graph we can see how the direction so as the direction is changing we are um, increasing the, the angle so it is, it is good to create this kind of angle follow uh, now we are going to explain this which is the grain the grain it is uh, designed to be soft okay 
so we can see here what soft blending very useful for charcoals and pencil sketches but if, if we want to make the opacity or change in the hardness we get different different effect maybe useful for you or sometimes so this is the parameter that you have to change the hardness that you want to create this, this kind of effect and also the heater is set to 1 to spread the dabs inside the brush stroke okay now we have the heater with the splat heater with the splat is very creative brush this is not a very usual brush but uh, it is good to explain some features, features of my paint so it is here to creative possibilities not real possibilities it is like soft bubbles just this is a uh, very interesting but there is no control over this brush um, we use the radius per second to get the spray effect and as you can see here I am simply not pressing the not pressing the the pen over the tablet just uh, let it over the tablet and it is starting to make just like a spray effect then we have the blend points which are very useful to create this uh, soft, soft blending with the low pressure and as we, see, as we are applying more pressure we are changing how the brush behavior we can some just clouds effect and the last one is water water is very useful to create a water effect the water effect As you can see here <laughs> this is not clear so let's make a 100% square let's make green and you can see better you can see better the different effect of water yeah and as we apply in pressure size increases and also is mapped to the elliptical depth angle it's nice to see in action it's not a perfect blending just like a watercolor a real watercolor brush but it is enough for digital painting for now and that is for the smoochers or blending brushes Thank you.